Hi guys! So, uh, where are we now? Probably about day 18, I think, or 19 maybe by now. Uh, 19, I think. So, 19 days in, I am trying to do 100 days of videos on YouTube. And so that I'm relying on you guys for lots of lovely suggestions to keep me going on what you'd like to see, what can I help you with. Um, looking back at the videos I've posted so far, there's a lot of interest in pla plantar fasciitis. Uh, now, plantar fasciitis is a catch-all phrase that if you have foot pain, it gets called plantar fasciitis. Um, so, one of the things I always look at with people are all the joints in the foot, seeing whether or not they can open and close, whether the foot can pronate and can supinate. But one of the other things that's super important is your big toe. And so when we look at the big toe, I'm going to come up from here and you'll just see my feet for the moment. So we want to just make sure that the toes can lift, big toes can lift. And so as we're raising the toes, not everybody can lift just the big toes up. Um, so if you have to lift all of them, that's absolutely fine. Um, we're looking for really subtle things. We're looking for whether or not the toes actually move the same, the range of motion is the same. We're looking for the quality of that movement. So does it feel smooth or does it feel a little bit creaky? Is it restricted or is there any discomfort there? Now, um, in anatomy and motion, we use wedges, but you can use just a folded up face cloth or flannel, whichever you want to call it. Um, fold it up and you put it up against the wall and you're going to put your big toe on that and leave the other toes off to the side. So when it's propped up on that against the wall, we're going to turn to face the wall so we're square against it and then we're starting to come forward with our knee into a knee bend towards the wall. We don't want to touch the wall and we want to stay stacked up with our upper body. So make sure you choose a spot at eye level. Once you get started, you don't need to look down at what you're doing. You just need to feel. So as I'm going into the knee bend with my toe extended, I'm getting a stretch in the bottom of the foot. Now, for some people, this might be quite uncomfortable. So you might want to just modify how much that knee goes forward towards the wall. And definitely move slower. And so when you move slower, your body has a chance to adjust to it better than doing things quickly. So we're trying to feel where are we getting the stretch? And we also want to make sure that we're keeping that heel on the floor. So if we start to lean forward and the heel comes off, you're going to lose your stretch anyway. So just keep that heel down. We're always aiming for that up tripod on the floor, ball of the big toe, ball of the little toe and the heel. Now, you can do both sides. You can compare, even if the other side is feeling absolutely fine. It's quite interesting to see what you can do on each side. The idea with these is to encourage that movement there. And in order to do that, you need to be doing this three times a day. With the repetitions, you want to keep them low. Um, don't be in a position where you're pushing yourself into a, a painful area and that it's staying painful afterwards. So you need to start with a couple, just see how you feel, gradually build that up. There's no set number with this. It's all about just achieving a more smooth range of motion and a bigger range of motion that is closer to what should be there in the body. So let me know what you want to see next. Like, subscribe, and see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.